before you pay a shrink You better think twice If you need some help and don't know what to do Cecilia says has the answer for you <sighs> Hello, and welcome to the second episode of Cecilia Says I'm your host, Cecilia And today, we will be discussing all of the important things you need to remember About summer beauty and how you can stay looking fresh and fierce all summer long Cecilia says that the first thing you have to remember is that beauty comes from within. That's why I always remember to take my vitamins. You can start at the beginning of the alphabet if you want with the letter A and work your way through on a daily basis. You know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, M, N, P, Q, R, S. Or you can just cut 25 steps and take one of these little babies. It's a multivitamin and it has delicious right in the title, which is why I've chosen this version. Also, this one comes with fiber and digestive support, which helps with regularity. What? What's regularity? It's your poop, Sebastian. The second thing you have to remember is to take very good care of your skin. Now, I know there's a lot of things on the internet, you know, trendy things like vampire facials, which is crazy talk. I mean, who can afford a flight to Transylvania for the love? So forget all of that and just remember what Cecilia says, which is to wash your face and then do a simple at-home mask. And I don't mean the kind to protect you from the corona. Today, we are going with an at-home DIY avocado mask that I have created myself by smoothing together some avocado and some lemon. It's cheap, it's very good for your skin, and it tastes delicious too. Mm. Now that we have our skin feeling soft and supple, we got to get it looking great too. Cecilia says that the key to sassy and supple summer looking skin is to highlight and contour. Now don't worry, all you need to do for that is you got to have some white eyeshadow, some brown eyeshadow, a couple of brushes, and this video. I move my finger in front of the camera. Why don't you stop me, Sebastian? If, just, if you mess it up, you press the stop. I'm sorry. Oh, I did it again. Oh. Sebastian, now, I'm basically an expert at this. I have watched several YouTube tutorial videos, and it looks super easy. So we're just going to go for it. Are you sure you don't want to use a mirror? What? Uh, you don't want to use a You should probably use a mirror. How are you going to see? What do you mean, how am I going to see? I don't need to see, Sebastian. It's like paint by numbers. All you do is just feel where your cheekbones are, and then put the makeup where it's not, and then it just goes on like that. It's easy. Plus, I can kind of see myself in the reflection of your phone case, so it's fine. All right, now, first, you take the brown eyeshadow and you put it under your cheekbones, just like this. It helps you to make a fish face. And you rub it on your cheekbones, like that. You gotta get a lot of it so that you look really thin and that's nice. And contour, like that. I can't see Sebastian, you gotta hold the phone still. Just right there. I'm gonna do it under the cheekbone, right? Underneath. Like that. Okay? You can also do some on your temple. That, oh, my gosh. Hold on one second. Right there. Hold on, my pen. That's the brown seal, right? Right there. You can sit in your temple like that. And also, if you want to have a skinny neck, you can put it on your neck too, like this. Because the brown makes things disappear. So when you put it on the parts you want to disappear, like if you got a little turkey gobble gobble under your neck, you just put it on like that and it has it. No more gobble. If you got a big forehead, like I kind of do, you're going to want to put it on your forehead too. Like this. So you got to put it on the very top. Just across the top of your forehead. So then that way, it kind of takes away the imperfections. Alright, next. You're going to take your other brush and you're going to put the white shadow on the parts that you do want people to notice. So you're going to put it on top of your cheekbones like this. Hold on. You're going to put it right here because you're going to say, oh, I'm so skinny with my supermodel cheekbones. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Cecilia, what are you even saying? You look like a crazy zebra lady. And I know, don't worry, because Cecilia says we still have to do the third step, which is to blend it all together with this brush. It's a third brush. So you're just going to go like this. You're going to take it and you're going to smudge it all together like this in little circles go all around. And you're going to blend it all together just like that. And voila! You done? Yes. You still look pretty stripy. What? You have like brown and white stripes all over your face. Sebastian, I have a question for you. 
Who died and made you a makeup expert, huh? Who do you think you are, Max Factor? Just look. Look in the mirror. What? Can you cut? Well, that's all for now, folks. Tune in next time for another exciting episode of Cecilia Says. So long.